everybody, Trudy Ames here with the Academy of Becoming, and today I'm going to move into that second one that I promised you on self-reflection. Last video we did self-awareness, where I gave you three tips on how to be more self-aware, how to actually practice it, and today we're going to talk about self-reflection. So again, I'm going to go with that magic number three, <clears throat> only it's going to be three questions. When we think about self-reflection, how do we reflect? What, what is a useful way that actually serves us? right? Because just contemplating it and being spacey about it certainly doesn't give us anything tangible. All right. Making up stories about how brilliant we were can feel really good. But again, it's not really very resourceful. And neither is the other end of the pendulum where we're beating ourselves up and we're only focused on what doesn't work and what we, what we did poorly. That one moment where we made a mistake, that one question where we, you know, said something we wished we wouldn't have, or we wish we would have said it different. If we focus in on that, we're not serving ourselves either. We're not being realistic. So what does it look like to really reflect on self in a way that supports us, that supports us to grow and learn? All right. So the three questions that I want to propose to you. The first question is, what worked? Let's start with celebration. Simple question, right? Don't be fooled by the simplicity of this. It's powerful. Remember, keep it simple, sweetie. All right. So the first one is, what worked? Start by celebrating. Pat yourself on the back. Not only does it feel good, right? But when you celebrate, you actually give the message to your brain that it's important. So it files in an important place. You're in the prefrontal cortex, which is the happy place, this place of trust and creativity and openness. And that's a beautiful place to put yourself in first. So let's start with that first. What worked? Okay. Second one, what didn't? When we're in a good place to look at it, it's easier. Remember our skills I taught you last time? Let's zoom out, right? Let's be objective. What didn't work? Let's just look at it like a weather report. It's sunny today. It's cloudy today. Just what's the fact? What didn't work, right? My technology didn't work. It didn't work me showing up late. I didn't get any sleep last night. That didn't work, right? Just, just note what is. Just state the facts of what is. What didn't work? And then the third question, right? What do I want to do different? It's a powerful question. Now that we know what worked and what didn't work, what do I want to do different? It may be that there's a couple of ideas that come up right off the bat, okay? And a couple is okay, but don't overload yourself with a ton of them. It's, it's not realistic to expect ourselves, right? So nothing wrong with doing the evaluation. What didn't work? What do I want to do different? And then set some goal from that. What do I want to do different? It's easy. What can you do right off the bat? Pick one or two of those that are simple. So little things to do. If there's a couple big things, pick one and work on it. Get it nailed, right? Become an expert at it. Then move on to the next one. Those doors will open more easily for you and you'll have more success. I sure hope that helped. Look forward to the next video where we're going to talk about the last one, which is self-regulation and the idea of reframing. See you next time.